Welcome to the Quick Galloper YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell. QuickGallopJHay.com and its YouTube channel, the Quick Galloper continue its coverage of the seven furlong, three year old, Thornbird Stakes. The Thornbird Stakes, an event for fillies only, will be contested on Saturday, April 13, 2024. The attention is now focused on the last wins by the 15 starters listed on the overnight program, done in draw order. They're off for the Abbey Granham. First start. Matuso gets a good one on the far side. As they make their way now toward the final six furlongs, Matuso has taken that lead. Allegiance, the first time runner in the blue silks, three parts of a length down in second as they leave the six. Right back there in third, that's a blue sensation in the black cap. Matuso has backed out of it and is now running in fourth and at the back of the field. It's a buttercup as they go flashing past the five. They're on the way to the final half mile and the turn for home. And Tioff has that lead now opening up some three lengths. Allegiance continues to chase. Blue Sensation hidden from view. Matuso has picked up now and forms a line of three. And at the back, Buttercup remains and looks helpless at the moment as the tempo increases on the run toward the three. Tioff, trying to slip away from them, has opened up some three and a half to four lengths, being chased now by a blue sensation. Matuso is asked to kick in on the outside of horses. Allegiance has faded badly and is now being overtaken by Buttercup as they come into the top of the lane and it is out in front. Tioff continuing to hold the advantage. Here is Matuso kicking in on the outside and Matuso may just have the measure of them all. Matuso with that lead running now toward the final furlong. It is Matuso out in front. Tioff trying to fight back. Buttercup now begins to bloom down against the rail and it is Buttercup who snatches the lead. Buttercup out in front inside the final 16th. Blue Sensation trying to rally on the outside but Buttercup and O'Neill Scott will take the Abbey Grand Memorial Cup close could be blue sensation over Matuso. T off is next and allegiance at the back. Four and a half for along the trip, nine hundred meters straight. They're off and racing. Breaking in the middle, that's come home to me, right on the far side prominent. That is fast and furious links. Also there that's the Maya, and left out of it it's Bancroft. As they make their way toward the uh, a three furlong point, passing the three, and it is fast and furious link. Come home to me. These are the one. Also there, that's Simaya traveling well and left out of it. It's Bancroft. They're at the a two furlong point in the Anthony Tyson Trophy, and it is fast and furious link along with Come home to me. These are the two that will decide it. Left back a bit, that's Simaya, and Bancroft has never been in it. They're coming to the furlong pole and come home to me. Now points and Fast and Furious linked and come home to me. We'll come home a winner today in the Anthony Tyson Trophy. Come home to me, coasting in for an effortless win. Come home to me by about six. Fast and Furious Link did well for second. Imai is third and Bancroft completes a free. They're off and uh, racing. Imaya gets a good break, tacking toward, toward the near side. Also there too, that's Lucy in the sky. So Himaya and Lucy in the sky. Himaya just the leader from Lucy in the sky. So the stable companion has this one. Rocola comes next, then comes coming on. That's indestructible. But Lucy in the sky looks to have the overall lead. And it's Lucy in the sky in front. It's Lucy in the sky. Himaya trying to get to Lucy in the sky. It's Lucy in the sky in front. Also coming on indestructible. But it's uh, action pack Rain Lawson. And Lucy in the sky beating Himaya. Then comes indestructible Rocola. And just coming in. Cheer de jour. Uh, they're off. Fair start. Run, Julie, run. Lives up to her name. She's sure running fast and grabs an early lead as they head toward the half mile. Uh, chasing down toward the outside. That's a Francis now showing. Queen of Soul is also moving quickly, and a Queen of Soul now moves through to get a narrow lead from a run, a Julie, run, just on the outside. Racing next, that's Francis in the green cap as they leave the three. Buttercup in the black cap races next, and at the back of the field, 
that blue sensation as they have left the 516th and will come into the lane. Queen of Soul battling for that lead with Run Julie Run the Grey on the outside. It's Queen of Soul just the leader. Run Julie Run though refusing to quit and these two continue the battle and Run Julie Run now looks to pick up a slim lead. Queen of Soul will attempt the fight back onto the left hand stick but it is Run Julie Run the Grey filly that is out in front. Queen of Soul continues to challenge on the inside. Run Julie Run and Omar Walker just the leader. Queen of Soul attacking all the time. Run, Julie, run. They just have done it to the Queen of Soul. Uh, then Francis Buttercup at the back. It's blue sensation. Uncle Sims is ready. They're off and racing. A bold shadow. The one left at the back of the field as a blue sensation rushes to that lead. Also rushing up on the outside. That's tee off. As they go towards the six for a long point, Tioff and Robert Halliday makes the running. Bold Shadow coupling up nicely, passing the six in second. Right there in third, that's a blue sensation. Then comes a fear and racing at the back of the field, Amma. They head toward the five and it is making the runnings. It is Tioff, about three lengths in front of Bold Shadow racing in second. A fear goes down into third, right against the rail. That is a Blue sensation right at the back of the field. That's Amma there. Head toward the half mile. And Tioff still in front. About a length and a half in front. Racing on the inside. That's blue sensation right there too. That is a, a fear. As they head toward the a three for a long point, And it's still Tioff. Now joined by a stable companion. Blue sensation. Blue sensation points with that lead. Tee off right there too. Here comes a fear right against the rail, cutting the corner there at the top of the lane and it's blue sensation in front. Tee off looks to be tiring right against the rail. That's a fear, but it is breaking the running. Blue sensation in front. Here comes a fear up on the inside. Blue sensation is still in front and traveling nicely at the furlong pole. Blue sensation and the sneaky fox. Radish Roman and begins to pull away from these. It's Blue Sensation sprinting off, sprinting clear in the end. Blue Sensation comfortable in the end by about six and a half length or maybe seven length. A period second. Then comes uh, Amma and uh, Tee Off and uh, Bold Shadow. They're often racing. Stepping a bit slow. That's Design Diva and uh, Awesome Line. Dancing Aviator goes for that lead. A plum is right there too, but a plum looks to have right of may have lost the iron as they pass the four. Battle Angel now assumes the lead. It's Battle Angel in front from Dancing Aviator. Right there too, that's Francis stalking in third, now slipping down neatly into second. Then comes La Vida, overtaken by Sipping on Sunshine. Awesome Line comes next, a plum. Then comes Design Diva and racing at the back, Mila K. They're at the uh, top of the lane, and it is still making the runnings. Battle Angel right against the rail and coming back for more. That's Dancing Aviator, Aviator out wide. That's Francis, but it's still Dancing Aviator. Now comes to and assumes the lead from Battle Angel, trying to fight back. Francis will have to find about three lengths. It's Dancing Aviator and the Lady Abigail Abel beginning to pour it on. And Dancing Aviator slipping out of the grass to these. And Dancing Aviator will win this by about five. Battle Angel is second. Then comes Francis running on for fourth. That's awesome line. Well, they're off. Play fear. Just a step slowly out with Buttercup relegated to last. The favorite crypto girl flashes past the five and gets a lengthened advantage. Come home to me chasing in second and under a bit of a pump. Also oh, smart racing down against the rail. Train of thought racing on the outside as the leaders slip by the half mile and go running into that turn. Toward the back, that's a play fair and a buttercup left out of it. A running now toward the final three and the favorite crypto girl has the lead. Harris all the while by come home to me. About a length separates them as they're about to drive past the 516th. A gap of four or five to Oso oh, Smart. Train of thought further back. Playfair races up next to the red cap and Buttercup remains firmly planted at the back but it is Crypto Girl with that lead now being harassed by on the outside come home to me. It's Crypto Girl with the advantage inside the final 316th and Crypto Girl battles oh so smart now begins to come with a burst down against the rail come home to me not too far away to land a blow but it's Crypto Girl in a battle now with oh so smart oh so smart and Paul Francis have now streaked through to get that lead it is oh so smart coming away and oh so smart will take the second by me Maybe three and a half. Crypto Girl is second, just over Playfair. Then come home to me. Buttercup is next and last of all, train of thought. They're off and racing. Getting a flying start, that's Francis. Also on the near side, that is uh, Himaya. 
So Himaya Francis, also there that's Buttercup Early. Miss Cherry and uh, Rosetta running a private race on the uh, far side. They're spread right across the track. Many chances as they come toward the uh, three furlong point. And it is over on the far side, Miss Cherry and uh, Rosetta toward the near side, Himaya and uh, Francis. Left out a bit, that's Buttercup. They come toward the two furlong pole and it is Miss Cherry and on the far side of Rosetta in the middle. Francis coming on nicely. It's still Miss Cherry looks to have the overall lead. Francis coming forward to tackle Miss Cherry, but Miss Cherry begins to get away from these. And Miss Cherry and the champion jockey, Dane Dawkins, begins to skip out of the grass of this field. Miss Cherry in front and strolling out easily. Will win by about five lengths in front of Francis. Then comes uh, Rosetta. Looks like for the cup is fourth. They're off. Our almost perfect start. Banadura gets a good one. Grabs that lead. Crypto Girl going in pursuit. These two charge down the back stretch with Crypto Girl and Banadura glued together on the run toward the five. Narissa's Angel races up next. Miss Cherry almost right alongside. A break back to Oso oh Smart. Six lengths off that lead. Blue Sensation races on the outside of horses. Come home to me in between runners. Lady Lauren running the route on the rail. And Lucy in the sky at the back of the field with a lot to find as the leaders come racing away toward the final three. Crypto Girl out in front. Banadura in hot pursuit. Three parts of a length down. A gap of five or six lengths opens up to Nerissa's Angel. Miss Cherry in between horses. Oh, so smart. And Blue Sensation asked to make ground as they come thundering into the top of the lane. They leave the quarter pole behind. Crypto Girl battling and holding that lead. Banadura continues to attack on the outside there, eye to eye. As they drive to the furlong pole, Banadura in the red now points the nose in front. Crypto Girl continues the battle on the rail. It's Banadura driven to the max. Crypto Girl trying to close the gap once again, but Banadura begins to slip away from Crypto Girl. It's Banadura coming away. A double for the connections. Mileta Zan, CD, Jason Acosta and Robert Halley. And Crypto Girl is second. Come home to me. Looks to be third. Miss Cherry is fourth, close for fifth between Blue Sensation and Oh So Smart. They're off. Fair start. My sunshine just left the wall the back with Roman Princess. The favorite midnight flight has darted through and grabs an early lead, slipping away by some three or four lengths as she dashes past the half mile marker. Lady Gobindia races next with Ruby's Light on the outside. Princess Fiani, the first time runner, races back in fourth. Just about eight or nine lengths separates that group. She's Dallas Loving behind them as they leave the three. Himaya the Grey is a further three lengths back. My sunshine asked to brighten up on the outside, and Roman Princess maintains last as the field comes thundering into the top of the lane. Out in front, the rider having a peep between his legs. That's Philip Parchment is Midnight Flight, the favorite, beginning to stretch away from them, hoping to go all the way and continuous looking between his legs. That's Philip Parchment under the hand ride alone. It is Midnight Flight with a commanding and what looks to be an unstoppable lead. She's Dallas Love is running on best of the rest, but Midnight Flight is eased down by Parchment in the end. Midnight Flight winning it by maybe seven lengths. She's Dallas Love is next, ahead of Princess Viani tight. Could be a Roman princess on the rail getting just ahead of my sunshine. At the back early. A plum got a good start, taking off quickly and rushes through to get that lead. A lady Lauren is a length and a nose tickling tail back in second. Rachel Manning races in third, possibly five lengths off that lead. Brownie Brown making ground on the rail. Rosetta niggled along and asked to get closer. Tee off joining on the outside. Himaya races next ahead of Boz Marie and Valley of Love at the back of the field. They've left the half mile. They arrive at the 716th and run into the final part of the turn. And it is a plum out in front by a length and a tail. Lady Lauren continues to chase from second. Here's Rachel Manning now making some late progress. Five off that lead. They charge away now, flashing past the 516th. And a plum will bring them into the lane. It is a plum out in front. A Lady Lauren now cutting the corner. And a Lady Lauren has now struck that lead. A plum fades back. It is Lady Lauren out in front and asked to make some progress. Driving up now toward the uh, final furlong. Lady Lauren out in front. Rachel Manning has a lot to do from there. Rosetta now begins a late charge, but up front, it's all Lady Lauren by seven, maybe eight. Inside the final 16th, Lady Lauren completely in control, large and in charge. Lady Lauren alone wins it from Rosetta. Tight. Could be Himaya just over Rachel Manning. Brownie Brown is fifth. 
They're off and racing. King Pai steps a bit slowly and is left at the back of the field. Ikri Slim goes into an early lead right on the inside of Ikri Slim. That is Don't Tell Lulu. So Don't Tell Lulu now assumes the lead from Ikri Slim. Spr Spraga tracks them in third. Then comes Buzz Marie and King Pai waited with at the back of the field. They head toward the four furlong point and it is Don't Tell Lulu being hounded by Sprager on the outside, right against the rail, that Hickory Slim. Then comes Buzz Marie, and recovering now, that's King Pai. They've left the four and head toward the three furlong point, and it is Don't Tell Lulu on a two and a half length lead from Hickory Slim right there in second. Then comes Sprager behind those and hustled up for more. That's King Pai, and racing at the back of the field, that's Buzz Marie. But Don't Tell Lulu has kicked away about four lengths in front of Hickory Slim, tiling in second right there on the outside and coming on now that's King Pie but it's Don't Tell Lulu is kick, kick, kicking clear at the furlong and a half pole Don't Tell Lulu is still on that lead King Pie wind up and hearts for more it's Don't Tell Lulu King Pie begins to come forward there at the furlong pole Don't Tell Lulu still in front King Pie begins to come forward nicely it's Don't Tell Lulu tying up a bit and now King Pie comes a calling but Don't Tell Lulu is finding more King Pie trying to fight back Don't Tell Lulu Don't Tell Lulu beats King King Pie, then comes uh, Ikri Slim, got tied for fourth between Spraga and uh, Buzz Marie. Started already. They're off for the Isle of February. Kaelin Melody misses it as they charge down the back stretch now toward the six. Amma goes on for that lead, tackled early by Affair, just ahead separates them as they flash past the six. Himaya the Grey is some two and a half lengths back and coasting along in third. Oil Machine a further two lengths back racing in fourth. Kaylin Melody now on the move on the rail making mile progress. Brenda Boy races a further length and a half back as they leave the five. Never right on the tail end of that one and a Buzz Marie not buzzing at the moment at the back of the field. They're about to arrive at the half mile and go spinning into that turn, and Amma has that lead up front. Affair continues the chase. Himaya racing in third and now making mild progress at the 7.16th. Uh, Kaylin Melody races up just in front of a pushed along oil machine. Brenda Boys asks for an effort to make up an eight or nine length deficit, a gap of six or more to never. And forget Buzz Marie needing help as they have left the 516th and will come thundering into the top of the lane. It is Amma out in front and in charge at the moment. A fear now let loose and asked to close up. Kaylin Melody shaken hard down against the rail, but Amma continues to deny them. Inside now the final for long and a half, and up front it is Amma put to the right hand stick and Amma begins to power right away. Kaylin Melody continues the chase. Affair running on the spot but it's Amma in complete control of the I Love February trophy. Amma and Radish Roman, they all love February. They win by maybe double digits over Kaylin Melody. Third goes to Brenda Boy ahead of Affair. Back in fifth, that's Oil Machine. Field and nine for the Harry Jagai Memorial Trophy. 1,300 meters, six and a half furlongs there off, and Papidon misses the start with Queen Vaughna. Shani Star took off quickly, harassed early by paperwork as they flash past the six. Rack them in between horses, the Soul Warrior right there too, Rockola racing down against the rail. Captain Sparrow takes a wide route. Brownie Brown races right there on the fence. In between horses, Brenda Boy. Design Diva and the general team up in behind. Queen Vaughan are now asked to make some late progress. And at the back of the field, it's a Pappy Don after the slow start, not yet recovering. They've left the half mile and go spinning into that turn, approaching the final 7-16th. And Shani Star under a tight trap leads up by some two lengths. Rack them now going in hot pursuit and cutting into that lead as they leave the 3 8 pole. The Soul Warrior races up next. Brenda and a boy hidden from view on the outside. Rockola has made good eye-catching progress. The general in the all-black races up next as they come thundering into the top of the lane. They're approaching the quarter pole and Shani Star attempts to go all the way and continues to deny them. Rack them in the green racing toward the outside. Rockola now moving in between horses and Brenda Boy kicking in out wide but it is Shani Star out in front. Terrific Tevin Foster. He's looking for a three-timer and it looks as if Shani Star will give it to him inside the final 16. Shani Star is roaring away from them and will romp the Harry Jagai Memorial Trophy, winning by maybe double digits. Second goes to Captain Sparrow. And then Brenda Boy Rocola. Paperwork has finished in fifth. I'm racing in the BGLC Toba Jamboree Sprint. 
Not an especially quick beginning for Queen of Soul, but Halladeen's on the go with Fast and Furious Lynx, who poaches a two-length advantage in a hurry. Up to the outside, Queen of Soul is now rushed into second. Rosetta is at the rail. In between horses, Warrior Stomp shuffled to fourth. Length and a half back to Hamaya and Matuso as last of all as they swing to the far turn. Fast and Furious Link, sharp so far. Into the turn on top by two, Queen of Soul second. Rosetta moving up the inside and up into second now. These top three have seven on our fourth running Warrior Stomp. Matuso is a long way behind with Amaya as they run to the top of the stretch. This big favorite, Queen of Soul, better hurry up as Fast and Furious Lynx at the five sixteenths on top two and a half. The stable mate, Rosetta, takes up the slack second and they're at the top of the stretch. Here comes Rosetta to engage Fast and Furious Lynx. Halladeen throws the cross at Fast and Furious Lynx. She's still the leader. Rosetta runs at her on the outside second. Queen of Souls been defeated. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Jason DaCosta 1-2. Fast and Furious Lynx responding to challenges. Rosetta one more time. Rosetta starts to get to her. Fast and Furious Lynx driven out. Fast and Furious Lynx digging in. On the outside, Rosetta's at a time. Fast and Furious Lynx went down the road. Rosetta was second from Matuso, who was up for third. This big favorite, Queen of Soul, floundered late. She finished fourth. Thank you for watching another video produced by the team from QuickGallopJaya.com and its YouTube channel, The Quick Galloper. Please stay on the channel for other enlightening videos on those involved in local horse racing. Please like, subscribe and press the notification bell.